proof that we went for a walk this week. Walk number two this week. Hey guys, I don't know what day, number day this is this week, but we're out and about again. I wanna say like three, maybe four, I think three. Um, but yeah, we're on another walk. It's not a big walk. We just came to the park to play, let the kids run around. It's supposed to be rainy all next week, but I'm not determining today what the week holds and whether we're gonna go for walks. So, and by doing that so far, I've been out three, two, four times this week on walks. So one of them was for an hour. As you know, last Sunday it was 10K. Um, and who knows what tomorrow brings. We have Theodore 2 coming to Brockville. It's supposed to come tonight actually. And we have friends coming down from Ottawa to come see it. So we're gonna be walking around downtown Brockville. So maybe I'll also just make everybody go for a walk too. We'll see. Anyway, have a good day. Are we on another walk? Hi, pretty girl. This is what's in Brockville this weekend. And pirate ship. Hey guys, it's just my uh, weight check in for Sunday. And I weighed myself this morning and it was 208.4. And so I'm down another almost two pounds or two pounds this week. Now, I just want to make clear that it's not always the number on the scale for me. I just want to feel healthier and I'm getting there and I want to create healthy habits. I want to eat healthier for the family, be able to run around and keep up with the activity level of the kids and things like that. Um, I am going to show my, I have a Fitbit, so I want to show everything that we did this week, this past week, so like Sunday to Saturday, and it's probably been my best week in years, I think, for activity. Um, yes, I did go and walk 10k with my aunt, my mom, and my cousin last Sunday, so it definitely contributed to a lot of the activity levels for this week, but um, we did keep up the activity levels throughout the week. We went on lots of walks, things like that. We ate pretty healthy. I have stopped snacking on toast and jam. I didn't make any oat bars this week, and we've been having salads and... Um, I think we've kind of maybe kept on par with the veggies, but one of the main meals that I did make, I think twice this week, is basically like a, I don't know, I call it a Buddha bowl, but it's like rice, quinoa, and then I've got chopped uh, chopped lettuce, um, you could put onions in there, we didn't, um, cucumbers, peppers, uh, the cherry or grape tomatoes, whatever you want to call them. And then sometimes if I have avocados that are ripe, I'll throw avocados in there. You can throw um, things that we've thrown in are like feta cheese, shredded cheese. And then for the five of us that eat, I usually cook up two chicken breasts and cut them into really tiny like half bite pieces and throw them in. So that way you can just easily eat the salad. And then I usually throw in um, two hard boiled eggs per person in there and then that's basically dinner and I personally don't eat it with any dressing at all whatsoever but you could do a salad dressing on it one of the go-to's that we do have is like an oil-based herb uh, salad dressing it has no sugar whatsoever in it so that's also a really good option to put on the salad if you're going to put something on there and uh, we've done fairly healthy. We ran out of craft dinner, so I stopped making craft dinner for lunch and I'm gonna see how long I can do that for because it's a lot of carbs. I've been trying to do different lunches for the kids. And so I'm gonna continue that into next week. So like cut up veggies, 
Um, maybe we'll have salads for lunches and then just getting prepared for the Buddha bowls at the start of the week. So like chopping up the lettuce, chopping up vegetables, and that way if the kids and I want to have that for lunch, we can just have that for lunch because rice and quinoa are two things that you can make ahead at the start of the week and then just take out whatever you want for that meal out of the fridge because that stuff keeps in the fridge for at least a week um, and it's still fine. But anyway, I just wanted to check in let you know that I did lose another two pounds around there and I do want to get my measurements on like my arms and my legs and my waist and my hips and things like that so that I can start measuring the losses there too and keep track on that um, but uh, pluses like so non-scale victories this week um, I've been able to walk upstairs and not be out of breath, so yay. Uh, I don't look like I'm dying after walking up one flight of stairs. We actually found the time to go on, I think like three or four walks this week. Um, so that was really amazing and really great family time together. The boys got to ride their bikes. We got to go for big walks. Um, some of them were just to the park at the local public school, um, but that's still, it was takes us 15 minutes to get there and 15 minutes back of walking so that was also really great plus the kids playing on the play structures and stuff like that was really great for them actually to the point that i've noticed that even joseph who's two um is starting to thin out not that i'm trying to thin him out in any way shape or form um but we don't have a fenced in yard so for him to go and play outside i i go outside with him obviously and um, he, we get out there as much as we can, but not as often as I would like to have him out there. Um, so he was getting a little on like the chubbier side. I'm not saying like he's overweight or anything like that, um, but I have noticed that he's starting to like, like bulk up and his pot belly was becoming more of just like a normal kid belly instead of having like a big pot belly. Um, so I noticed that just like in general, our physical activity increasing that has also helped him as well, which was kind of cool. Um, but then again, he could have also just grown taller. I haven't measured him on the growth chart recently, so he could have just grown and I didn't notice at all because I see him every day. Um, but Josh did compliment me and say that I did look like I was losing weight. So that was cool. Anyway, so for next week, I am going to play it day by day and if it looks like it's a great opportunity to go and take the family for a walk during the day, I will. Um, I really do enjoy the evening walks with Josh, but I'd like to start putting walks in during the day so that way if we get too busy in the evenings, we've still got a walk going on in there. Um, and then I've got to, I think this week coming up, I'm going to check how my diastasis is doing because I'd really like to start doing just some light workouts um, but I can't start doing that until my diastasis is closed and I feel like it might be closed I don't know I haven't checked in a while and I not gonna lie I have not been good at doing those exercises I was doing like a 21 day exercise thing with it I think I crapped out on like day five because it was just so hard to put in those exercises in the evenings and so all I've been doing is just making sure that I engage my core when I'm doing most things around the house um, and that seemed to actually close it um, to like one to two fingers like I said I think last week or two weeks ago so we'll check that this week and see if I can just start with some easy exercises or following some sort of like um, I had mentioned I had the 21 day fix DVDs so I could do those but do like the modified follow the modifier cat or if I'm going to do the V shred workouts um, then do do it slower than he's doing or something like that that I can just ease back into doing actual workouts and not uh, just make sure that I'm not wrecking my core with anything just making sure I'm doing it all properly and all that stuff um, so I haven't really decided if I'm going to just go and jump straight into V-Shred or maybe I I might do a round of 21 day fix following the modified, um, all the modified moves that 
the modifier's name is cat. I've done this program enough times. So if I just follow cat um, and just ease into everything and don't go too overboard or too head on with everything and just do one 21 day round of that to get a little bit of a base of exercise and then try the V-Shred program. I haven't, like I said, I haven't quite decided exactly what I'm going to do. I'll think about it this week and move forward with that for the following week. If my diastasis is closed, I still have not found time to figure out macros and all of that stuff. So, um, I'm like super 50, 50 on whether I'm actually going to keep trying to find the time to do the macros or if I'm just going to fall back on the 21 day fix and the containers and stuff. Every workout program works for some and doesn't quite work for others. And I know that the 21 day fix and all the color coded containers and everything worked really well for me. Um, the only, th and I really liked all the Beachbody programs that I purchased. I liked that I got sent the DVDs and I was able to do them at home and all this stuff. The part that bothers me now is that they have all now moved to a on-demand streaming service. So you have to pay a monthly fee to be able to access their on-demand to stream workouts and crap like that. Like I had bought 80 Day Obsession and did not realize when I was buying it, yes, could have read all that crap I know I should have read before I bought it but I, that was the first program um like I didn't understand why they were selling me the on-demand and then I realized that they were selling me the year subscription of on-demand because they weren't sending me the dvds so it was basically that that really ticked me off with it and even now if I want to go back I have to purchase um, like, I can't just log into the on-demand and use my 80-day obsession thing that I purchased. I have to actually pay their monthly fee or their yearly fee, but it's still a fee to access a program that I purchased. And that doesn't, it just doesn't sit well with me right now. Um, and that's not where I am. I'm not able to work out every day right now, so I'm not going to sit there and pay for the subscription fee just to access a program that I already bought. So... Um, anyway, that's my rant on <laughs> Beachbody. Great programs. Uh, it, it worked well for me for a while. Um, and then I just, I plateaued and I couldn't get out of the plateau. That was the problem with me and that it worked like it worked and I can follow the color coded containers all in my mind really well. And that nutrition program works well for me. I don't have to sit down and like plan things out. Um, but that all goes back to the macros. I've got to find time for the macros. I'm not sure if I have time this summer to sit down and figure out the macros. I might have to wait for the kids to go back to school where like I'll only have two kids in the house and a little bit more time to myself, a little bit more peace and quiet, and then I can figure out the macros then maybe. Um, but, uh, but yeah, so that's basically where I'm at right now with my fitness and my health and my nutrition and we are <sighs> I don't know how many weeks postpartum I would say I think I am about 10 or 11 weeks postpartum uh, so I'm past the six weeks that I can be working out um, but I'm not too far postpartum and I would hope, I would like to get down below the 200 mark by the end of the summer. That's kind of my goal right now is to get below the 200 by the end of the summer and f like um, figure out once my diastasis is closed, I would like to start doing like half hour workouts. I would like to start at two days a week. I don't want to over promise and then under deliver, feel discouraged and quit. Um, so I always do start low and then if I can keep that habit for three weeks in a row, I up it and I'll explain that too with my fitness pal and the results and things like that. I actually started out my step count at, I think it was like 5,000 steps a day because I wasn't even hitting that. So I was like, I'll start it at 5,000 steps a day for tracking my steps. And then once I hit that three weeks in a row, I bumped it to six. And once I hit six, three weeks in a row, I upped it to seven. Um, and that goes with my active minutes and how far I walk in a day. I'm about to bump up, 
uh, right now for the distance I walk in a day, um, it's, at, it's set at 5k right now. I'm about to bump it to 6k because I once I, I think I'm two weeks in a row hitting the 5k so I'll bump it up if I hit it this week I bump it up to six so every time I do it three weeks in a row I increase it so right now I'm up to I think my steps are 8,000 and I'm about to bump it up to 9,000 um so that's kind of the way I've been tracking that to get myself more active and I feel like that's um, so yeah, sorry, that go <laughs> it's like, why am I telling you this? Um, that goes back to, so the workouts, I'm going to start at twice a week doing a half hour workout. Um, so whether that's beach body, whether that's V shred, whatever, I'm going to start at twice a week. And as long as, um, once I can do commit to twice a week for three weeks in a row, I will bump it up to three days and then I'll bump it up to four and then I'll bump it up to five until I get to hopefully all seven days because like the 21 day fix you work out seven days and two of them like one's yoga one's pilates so you're really working out five days a week and then kind of like stretching and strengthening in an easier ish way because let me tell you yoga and pilates is still not easy um but it's more simple than doing like hit cardio so I'll work my way up to that and then Hopefully I can maintain that for basically the entire next school year and into next summer as well. So, um, but yeah, that's basically my update for this week and I will see you guys next week. Have a good week, everyone.